Well, welcome back to the channel. Much appreciated for you joining me today. And today we're out on the uh, the 2021 Triumph Street Twin. Um, I've just fueled her up, so uh, yeah, we're ready to go. Let's jump on, see what she's all about. All right, let's fire her up. Key on. Clutch in. Oh, lovely sound to her. Drop her into first. Hold on and away we go. <laughs> like I said, I just fueled, fueled her up, put, some, put a little bit of fuel in, no issues with the fuel, filling of the fuel. We'll take a right here today. Uh, nothing coming. Oh, instantly. I love the sound of the engine. Indicator off, no self cancelling indicators. On her. Oh. Instantly a lovely feel to the bike. Like I said, I've just jumped on the bike, so uh, we'll see how she rolls. Gel with the bike nicely. Anyway, yeah, I'll run through a few of the specs. The bike is a 900cc, it's the high torque engine, liquid cooled, 8 valve single overhead cam, and this is the, uh, the 270 degree parallel twin. That's why you come and get that lovely sound, that lovely note from the engine, which I absolutely love on this. Already, you know, you can you can you sort of tell straight away, really. Yeah, absolutely lovely. The bike will give you 65 brake horsepower, 7,500 RPM, 7,500 RPM, and 80 newton meters of torque at 3,800 RPM. We'll experience a bit of that once we get on the nationals. Wander open and see what she's all about. Here we go. Hold on. Hope you can hear me okay, it's a bit breezy today. Oh yes, absolutely lovely. Gorgeous, it's got that two into two, the brush stainless exhausts, which I actually, I really do like them. I prefer them than the chrome. Hello says, another fellow by the fellow boat is out enjoying the sunshine today. It's not a bad day today, like I said, it's a bit breezy. So I hope you can hear me okay. <laughs> Wind her open a bit. <laughs> yeah, very nice. I'm in fifth gear at the moment. This is a five-speed box. Multi-plate clutch with a torque assist clutch. And that's the first thing you notice when you uh, when you get on this is, the, is how light that clutch is. That is a, yeah, I could pull that in with my little finger. And that's the same with a lot of these Triumphs. Just adjust these mirrors a tad. Quite small these mirrors on here, but we'll have a look at the visibility. A little bit of vibration there. But this has to be expected from the from the twin. Because visibility is okay. Very nice. So yeah, like I say, you can pull that clutch in with your little finger, no issues at all. Very light. Be very good going through traffic. Wind her open a bit. Actually knocked it down into fourth gear though. I think the gears are very lot it's very uh, long geared, you know, so the revs are gonna be fairly uh, fairly low. Suspension, you've got the 41 millimeter, the cartridge forks on the front with the old traditional gaiters. I will do a walk around, so stay tuned. And uh, I believe they're non-adjustable on the front, and the rears are the uh, the twin shock unit, twin shocks. Adjustable for your preload only. My first first thoughts are it's very comfortable. Seat height is 765 millimeters, and I believe they've have added an extra additional 10 millimeters, so giving you 765 millimeters of uh, foam. Very very comfortable. First thing I notice is that as well. Very nice, very nice. Brakes on here as well. There's no expense spared with the brakes. You've got the 310 millimetre single disc on the front with the Brembo four, four pot calipers. And on the rear you have a 255 millimetre single disc with a twin pot knitting calipers. We'll check the brakes out. A little bit of poke. Front brake. Very good bite there on the front brake. Just try the rear actually. Not too bad on the rear either. Fairly good. 
do both of them together. Hello, sir. Yeah, no issues with the brakes. I'll stop you should you need to stop in a hurry. Absolutely lovely. I'm enjoying this ride today on this. So, yeah, much appreciated. Thanks, Triumph. Uh, Ling's Triumph in, uh, in Watton, Norfolk. Get yourself over. Much appreciated. Thanks for the loan of the bike today. In order for me to bring you this review. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. It's got a wheelbase of 1,450mm. A lot of, lot of old waffle, but <laughs> I'm just going to run through some of the specs here. And uh, giving you a 25.1 degree rake. Absolutely gorgeous. You've got no six gear, but at the moment, I'm, you know, I'm, like I said earlier, it's a very, very long gear, so I, don't, I think you'll be okay with that. Lots of subtle changes for uh, 2021. Lovely colours as well. It comes in three different colours. Starting price of £8,200. And uh, yeah, jet black, £8,200. And cobalt blue. And the uh, the matte ironstone, which is this colour here. And I actually love this colour. Which is £8,400. So yeah, very impressed so far. Loads of attention to detail on the bike. Loads of attention to detail as usual. What you can also do with this bike is you can uh, have this restricted to the A2 licence. We'll get a bit of air in. You know, for the new rider. And, you know, when you're ready, have it, have it removed. So that can all be done through the dealers. No issues at all. The, uh, the single uh, analog display there, but it's the, it's the multifunctional display. So you've got, you know, your, your analog display there for your speed. Uh, the Bonneville branded, and you've got the LCD display. It's got two rider modes as well, which are accessible through this mode button. Close the throttle. It's got road and rain. We're currently in road at the moment because it's not raining. Traction control and ABS is standard. Like I say, we leave all that on. We, wouldn't want to, we don't want to be turning that off. Although the sun is shining. It's very nice to be out today. One thing as well with these Triumphs and this model, you've got many accessories, optional official Triumph accessories. I believe 120 additional accessories. All come with the same guarantee. And they're all suited to the bike. So, um, you know, it's ranging from all sorts of luggage, security items. Not got loads of power, like I say, as can be expected for, you know, what it is basically. But it's an absolute pleasure to ride. The weight of the bike is 216 kilograms, that's the wet weight. And I say wet weight, the fuel, the fuel tank is there. I think it's a 16 litre, I might be wrong. I'll put it on the screen, if I am. Fuel consumption, 68.9, acclaimed 68.9 mpg. Hello, sir. So, yeah, you can really ride this to your heart's content, really. Lots of attention to detail on the filler cap. Uh, we will pull over in a minute, so don't go anywhere. Stay tuned, and I'll give you a thorough walk around of this lovely machine. Lovely machine. All this attention to detail on the filler cap here. Um, button cluster. Yeah, very minimalistic on this model. Horn, we'll try the horn actually, nothing around, nothing behind. Give a little distance there. <laughs> yeah, the usual sort of horn. Yeah, you can experience that torque. It's quite nice and refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else can I tell you about the bike? Yeah, right button cluster, obviously it's got the kill switch here. Uh, and it's actually, you know, you start the bike from the kill switch as well as, the, as usual on these Triumphs. Hazard lights there. LED lighting, on, only on the rear, on the rear light. 
front light is just the um, the usual halogen, I think. But yeah, we will have a have a good good thorough walk around the bike. Handles very nice. Be very comfortable for your your rock check on the back or your <laughs> your passenger on the back. Very comfortable. I've got no issues there at all. Suspension's nice and flush. Very nice indeed. So I'm in fourth gear here at the moment. We'll actually test them brakes out again, there's nothing behind, so doing 50 mile an hour here. Yeah, they're very good then, considering it's a single disc on the front. Go a little bit easy, it's not my bike. We'll find somewhere up here in a, in a, in a minute and we'll pull over. absolute pleasure to ride and I know I say about all of these triumphs but you know get yourself out and test ride highly recommend I've not I've not rode a bad one um, obviously I've got my favorites and I own one let's pull in here somewhere out the way not to cause any bother um, have a look <laughs> trying to find somewhere suitable in the sun just come in the, uh, the wrong way <laughs> Never mind. Oh, we're pulling here on the gravel. Stop the bike. Side stand, very easy. Nice little pokey outy bit there. Uh, neutral is very easy. I'll turn her off jump off the bike take the old gloves off so here we have it the street street twin 2021 the new street twin uh specifications we got like i said before actually the, the it's a liquid cooled eight valve single overhead cam with the 270 degree can, crank angle parallel twin and i love i love all of these cooling fins here as well and on the on the header clamps all very, you know, very nice there to keep with the iconic look, uh, you know, the Bonneville look. Radiator, you could do the radiator guard on there, to be honest. Yeah, it's got the the uh, performance of 60, it's claiming 64.1 brake horsepower at 7,500 RPM and 80 newton meters of torque at 3,800 RPM. And I love these brushed stainless uh, two into two exhaust as well, twin silencers, it's actually got the hidden catalyst in there if you can see right away right tucked in there behind that heat shield so links the two together um wheels we've got cast aluminium alloy wheels 18 inch on the front and 17 inch on the rear a nice nice design there multi-spoke and there's the rear tires are pirelli tires pirelli phantom tires um, obviously it's dry today so uh, you know no issues with the grip today um, forks like I said earlier 41 millimeter cartridge forks um, non adjustable there one thing I have noticed not not on this one but on other models is that these reflectors sometimes when they put them on they're not they're not straight it's just me being particular <laughs> but yeah I suppose you could take them off should you want to um, it's just one thing I've noticed in the past that they haven't been straight uh, it's just me moaning. Uh, rear shocks, yeah, you've got the, the rear shock units with the preload adjustment there, down the bottom there. Um, front disc, you have a single 310. I've gone through all of this earlier actually, so I'm not going to bore you with it, but we'll just have a walk around the bike and we'll look at the, you know, the quality of the, the build of the bike actually. Um, you know, you've got your Brembo brakes here. Lighting, Let's turn the lights on. I always like to put the hazards on actually. As you like, so like I said, it's non-LED on the front and non-LED indicators. And rear, we have a rear LED light, but no LED indicators, as I said. And I love, like I said, I love those brush stainless exhausts. That's my, you know, it's one of my uh, fa most favourable uh, sort of, you know, the, the way this bike looks, you know, in the flesh. It's probably not doing it any, any justice on the camera. Let's turn them hazards off. Display. We'll have a look at the display there. So you've got your speedo there, um, 
fuel gauge. We'll put some more fuel in before I take the bike back. Uh, info button here, so we can scroll through. Trip counter, trip two, miles per gallon. That'll all come into life when the bike's running. Uh, oh, it's got there, look, 64.6 MPG. <clears throat> uh, the range, the time, the rider modes are on road at the moment, so you press the mode button to move it across to, to rain. We'll leave it on road. So we'll leave it on road there. Oil warning light, engine management light, ABS light. We'll go through the other settings. Traction control you can turn on or off. I leave that on. I don't know why you'd want to turn that off really. Lovely attention to detail here as well. Love this fuel tank. Um, love, you know, the, the style of it, the teardrop type type style of it. Uh, what we did say the size, didn't we? Yeah, that's actually a 12 litre fuel tank. Um, like I say, giving you a six, range of 68.9 MPG. Love these uh, new intake brushed alloy covers here as well. Yeah, it's lots of, lots of changes. Um, very nice. See the HT caps here as well. USB seat under USB um, connection under the seat there if you wanted to charge your devices. Foot pegs, very substantial, nice good quality foot pegs there. Very nice. You know, I love it. I love it how it's all tucked away as well. In, you know, in here with the, it's all hidden, all the catalyst. Very nice indeed. That very nice. Like I say, this is the matte ironstone colour. Uh, 8,400. It comes in two other colours, jet black, which is 8,200, or the cobalt blue, which is very nice as well. It's another one of my favourites. Uh, again, 8,400 for that one. Got the rubber gaiters on here, the old traditional gaiters. Yeah, very nice. All this brushed stainless, uh, sorry, brushed aluminium here with your, um, your satin black. I actually prefer the chrome. This is my per personal choice anyway, I prefer the chrome, you know, the retro chrome display uh, dash there, you know, the dark clocks. But yeah, anyway, it's very nice, I'm very impressed. Right, okay then, let's jump on and ride some more. Hope you heard me all right with that, because uh, I am beside quite a busy road here, and uh, there's a lot of road noise. There she goes, brings into life. Just love the sound. See if we can turn around here without any bother on the gravel. <laughs> and we're off. Make sure I go out the right way of the garage this time. I've got my visor up for a little bit of airflow because it is quite warm today. And out we go. No bother there. Nice. Well, one thing I, you know, I like about this bike is that it, it, it's one of those bikes you can just jump on and ride with ease. You know, certain bikes you jump on, and uh, you know they really do take some getting used to. And this thing, I've, uh, this thing, I shouldn't call it. I think it's a motorcycle. This a lovely motorcycle. <laughs> it's a uh, yeah, makes your life very easy. It, it would make an excellent commuter bike. You know the the feet pet the foot pegs are in a nice position. You know what with that extra 10 mil on the seat as well, it's giving you maybe that additional. Sort of, well, it's giving you more comfort, that's for sure. You know it's a lovely, lovely. Um, you know, lovely riding position there. Can't really say any more than that. Got plenty of torque, plenty of pull. Gearbox is lovely and smooth. Obviously no quick shifter or auto blipper. Open these vents. Go on, let some air in. But um, just love the sound of that when you open, when you wind it open as well. Loads of attention to detail. There is, lo like I've said before, there is lots of uh, optional extras as well, so you can spec this bike as you desire. You know, and they all come with the with the um, the same type of warranty. You know, as, as they offer with bikes, it's all compatible specifically made for you know for the motorcycle and there's lots to choose from color wise I think I like the other one the cobalt blue that's my in my my personal opinion I like 
you know I like a nice paint job that I can I can polish and I'll have a little ride through here it's quite a nice quite a nice little route here yeah I like a paint you know a nice paint job that I can I can polish and it's on a Sunday afternoon there's he going oh he's just gone up the curb and pushed loads of shite up in the road very nice <laughs> Not quite the white van man, but the red van man. Everywhere you go. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I, I really do appreciate you joining me today on this on the on this uh, ride out review. It's my first ride on this machine. And if you haven't subscribed, would much appreciate you joining the channel. Hit the thumbs up. You know, if you enjoy the video, hit the thumbs up. That really does help out the channel and uh, help promote the video and the and the channel. I get lots of comments. I'll try and answer all the comments as best as I can. Um, I love reading comments. I keep them coming. Keep the comments flowing. <laughs> no issues with it. I, I, I did have a feeling that I was going to need the sixth gear on the bike, but I know we're only doing sort of 50, 60 mile an hour here and there, but you really don't need the sixth. They've geared this bike. It's very tall geared, long geared. So you're quite happy just to sit here, probably down in the third actually. You can hear the exhaust burble in a way. Probably going to turn out to be quite a long, long review this one, but there is, like I say, there's a lot, there's a lot was, that was um, kind of impressed me with this. I, I like the idea as well of the, you know, the, the being able to, to have this adapter to the AT license it becomes very appealing to um, what is he doing very appealing to the new rider this and then once you're ready you can have the restriction removed by Triumph I can remove it and uh, you know then grow into the bike some more you know very easy very easy to ride I could probably sit on this bike and ride it all day and there's no exaggeration with the comfort and the you know the, the enjoyment it's a perfect day today the sun's out I'm out on a bike and, 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 and it doesn't really get much better so um, yeah, I'm very, very pleased. Very pleased with this. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the review. And uh, uh, hopefully I will see you on the next video. Hit that subscribe button and uh, take care. See you soon.